A very good morning to all of you listeners and to the new listeners. Welcome to your own channel, Seek the Soul, the Truth Lies Within. And in today's blessing, the 189th blessing, before we go ahead, we are going to look at this link for all of you. You can go ahead and learn the art of yoga asanas, flexibility, diet, and you can even learn about sleep patterns in details over here. So I leave you with this and let's take you towards today's blessing. So what does Baba have to say today? How to become powerful? He gives a very beautiful example of our digestive system and how we digest knowledge is also very important. So let's see the comparison in a very beautiful way, what Baba has to say. Baba says, may you always be powerful. May you always be powerful. Maya proof and obstacle proof maya proof means not having thoughts of lust anger greed ego attachment and all those negativities and obstacle proof obstacles are within our mind if we have any negativity if we have any impurity or if we have the power of discerning or the power of tolerating or the power of judgment is less then obstacles come in our life when we cannot see that somebody is trying to say something or somebody is trying to deceive we find obstacles in our life. So God says experience is very important. By experiencing every point of knowledge with your churning power. So God is giving us the wisdom to understand Maya in ourselves and also to be safe from Maya in others. So let's get into the details. Baba says just as digestion power is essential for physical energy. Right? In the same way, in order to make the soul powerful, you need churning power. So if somebody's digestive system is not good, they go to the doctor, they have some medicines so as to make their intestines, so as to make their different hormones work better for them so that they can digest their stomach enzymes and many other things are made better so that they can digest. Here, knowledge is the power. Now, if we churn the knowledge, that means if we think about the knowledge, the wisdom, points of wisdom every day given by God over here, then that knowledge makes us more powerful and wiser. We have an experience, but in that experience, one can take a negative path or one can take a positive path. With knowledge, we'll take a positive path, we'll extract the good out of it, we'll extract the learning out of it, and we'll move towards it. That is wisdom. But if we have no knowledge about divinity, about purity, about values and virtues, then we'll end up taking the negative path where we'll destroy our own peace of mind and others' peace of mind by taking wrong decisions, wrong steps. Could be revenge could be uh, getting angry, could be manipulating things around. So that is what God wants us to do. He wants us to experience and use knowledge to take the right path of wisdom. So Baba says, you need churning power. To become an embodiment of experience with churning power is the greatest power of all. Embodiment of experience. In spiritual knowledge also, spiritual path, we fall down. Let's say something happens, we get angry. Oh, why did I get angry? What has God told me? What could be the reason? What is the weakness within me? What affected me? What words affected me because of that person? Not the person, but that person's words. So it is not the person, but the weakness within us. Certain things which prick us. Certain things which, if pointed, they are those empty holes which we haven't filled up with values and virtues. There are certain different points where if pricked, the old wounds come out which we haven't addressed or healed where we haven't put any values and virtues or acceptance or tolerance or power any other thing we have not worked out that thought which had affected us 10 years back we have let it go lingered it by maybe blaming the other person could be by pointing fingers towards the other person that is there within us that point is there within us that wound is there within us where we are not actually addressing it or we haven't addressed it and we have let it on to others or we have given it to on to others or we have blamed others or we have said oh that's my uh, that's my kismat or that's my destiny and we have let it and again after 10 years certain person comes along a certain situation comes along and points towards the same thing and the old wounds are open that's where we realize that's what we do in meditation we try to take out those different wounds and we try to heal them it takes time, it's not a one day process, but the healing process is very important. Otherwise, 
will end up taking wrong decisions on the basis of that we will end up being in the wrong mood and wrong mood negative mood means decision power is gone and judgment power is gone so that's why it is said right that when you're in a bad mood when you're in a uh, sad mood don't take any decisions why because that wound has been opened up now we need to be in the state of experience with wisdom we can use the experience and we can heal ourselves we can use the words of wisdom of god and heal ourselves as it is god has given us the three different aspects of time and he's told us that you are going to be victorious because every soul has to be victorious before going back to param dham or the supreme abode that means we have to become pure and then go so experience is very important and using the knowledge along with the experience makes us take better decisions so baba says those who are experienced in this can never be deceived or disturbed on hearing rumors let's say somebody comes back and says you, you have been uh, spoken about by so many people that you have so and so so weakness within you you are like this or you are, you are like that well sometimes we get affected but when we have the knowledge we will know that we have healed ourselves that is something which somebody is trying to provoke us for and we won't believe in the rumors anymore but if the weakness is there within us if that wound is not yet healed then yes it's going to affect us and we'll be getting into why when what where how and more and more of time is wasted more and more of tolerance power is gone more and more of blame work against us and the wound gets deeper and deeper and deeper that's where the wisdom is required that's where the churning power is required okay what do i need to think at this time when the situation arises when somebody says something about me do i sulk do i become sad do i blame them do i reply back do i shout back or what do i do or should i go inside me and check what are the weaknesses why is this breaking me what is lacking within me which value which quality is lacking within me because of which i'm not feeling whole and that's where people are breaking more holes into me or into the self pride so baba talks about that those who are experienced are always complete so anything which is complete will not be moving a lot right so they are always powerful and become maya proof and obstacle proof they feel powerful none of the words of others no situation will affect them because it's nothing new i have gone through it and i know how to be stable in my mind it's not about taking charge of the situation and and uh, lashing around or blaming and then you feel that yes now i'm feeling powerful i put that person in the right place no that also doesn't mean that the wound is healed that means that you have used defense and offense because it says how not to be offensive not to be defensive also but to be complete within so that is where spirituality takes us to be complete within and we don't get affected we are not in that high that vibration level that will stoop down to that thinking pattern or that same pattern of the other person and again open the wounds or let that person open the wounds because we have risen up to a higher level but if we have got some weight of old baggages within us then that is going to weigh us down and bring us down and pull us down again and those wounds will open up so that's where the inner healing is very important every day and the more situations the more disturbances and more experiences which we have they let us become more powerful provided we are using this knowledge so i leave you with this beautiful vardhan think about it and if you have any comments do put them down below and if you have any form of any ideas or any new points you can let us know thank you so much om shanti mm-hmm.